as you can probably tell from the title, we are indeed getting a new doggy. So today is the 10th, Friday the 10th. Um, so we have been signed up to a Battersea Dogs and Cats home for a couple of months now. Um, and Darren got a call on Wednesday to say they think uh, they had a match for us and Darren spoke to them, he sent me the pictures, told me about the dog and I think both of us just fell in love with him. So it is indeed a boy. Um, we have our first Skype call with them tomorrow. I think normally you'd have obviously like a face-to-face -face appointment but um, yeah. we have a Skype call instead. and. Um, the rehoming place is about an hour away and Darren didn't even realise that where he's been working lately has been like literally months. around the corner from him. Um, so yes, very excited. He is a cockapoo. He is like that grey blue colour. Um, he's called Baloo, like the bear from the Jungle Book. So uh, we're obviously not going to change his name because he is seven. So um don't want to confuse him. Penny's a bit of an anxious dog, so he'll fit in right as rain with me. Um, but yeah, I thought I would vlog sort of the next week or so of us getting him and preparing to get him. We're about to pop out to Home Sense and to Pets at Home to get supplies for him. We've already ordered a couple things off Amazon and places, so when those come in, I will show you. Um, and I'll show you the little space we've created for him in the kitchen. And yeah, we're just very excited to add a new addition to our home. You ready to go? Let's go! So this is our pantry. Um, it's a bit organised, so I can show you it. But this is going to be Baloo's shelf. At the moment, we just have these. Um, they're like feeding trays as such, and you can put like peanut butter, like doggy peanut butter on and stuff as like an activity. So that is where all his stuff is going to be kept. Or we're thinking, you know, obviously that could change. But uh, yeah, we're going to head out and take you with us. We're here. We are going in. Luckily, no queue. Yay! We've already found this bowl, which we're just going to have for our dining room. Just checking it's all right. Yeah, that's only $9.99. Cool. They're nice, those little trays. It's a lot more spaced out in here now. Um, I need to find a photo frame as well before we leave. So here we have all the dog beds. So let's, we need to find two, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. That's quite a nice one. Obviously we've not seen him in person, so we don't really know what size he is. Yeah. I want to get a proper bed as opposed to like a, um, just like a mat. But like I said, if we don't see anything here, we can go to... Oh, see, I like this. If they had this smaller, the grey and the stars. That's nice. Darren, if they had this smaller one in this... What's the brand of it? Beddies. That's way too big, though, for him. A bed. This is an orthopedic one. Uh, seeing as he is older, this is $14.99 by Canine Comfort. So we thought we'd get that one. Now let's have a look for a bowl. And they've got other bits and pieces here. We need to get some dog shampoo. Um, so we'll have a look at that. And then we need just one like food bowl. That's cute, but I don't know if it'll be big enough. You've ordered a couple bowls, haven't you? Like just like just ones like this, but I want a nice one for him to eat out of. I think that'll be too big. Um I mean then you've got that, that's got rubber on it. 
That's $9.99. I mean, I quite like this, but would it... Oh, it's got rubber on it, but do you think that's too small? Yeah. Plus, it's glass if you drop it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they'll have the same stuff. It would probably just be cheaper. Look at this. It's got a little Oscar on it, and it's glittery. Oh, this one's glittery too. Right. Itch relief. I don't know. Washes away dirt and odour. That's all we want. Oh, this one's shampoo, conditioner and sun protection. Who knew there were so many types? We're in the toy section now. We want to get a variety of toys because we don't know what he likes and they said just to like find things to test out really. I think that was a cat toy I just picked up. They don't actually have that much at the moment do they? Yeah. Definitely seen more in here. I think it might be because just like of lockdown and things. What's that? Um, he's like different textures. Oh. So they didn't have that much in home since we only got a few bits so now we are going to head to pet shop, pets at home and hopefully we have more luck in there and uh, yeah and then we're heading to Costco later but that will be a separate video so let's go. We're heading in now, oh there's Dougie. <laughs> so we can't really get food yet can we? Oh, look at all this stuff. Are they squishy? Yeah, get some. I'll see this is this what I need. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a dispenser and a flashlight. Okay, we need to pick out a collar. He does come with a collar, but we want to get him our own one as well. And a harness. There is another home sense that we might go to as well. That's not far from us if we don't see everything. So just a quick overview, I'll do a proper haul when we get back of what we got. We've got a second bed and some little treats. We're still on the lookout for like harness and coat. Um, so we might have to go either wait until we get him to look at sizing or go to the other pets at home if Darren's up for it. But I think that's all for now. Well, uh, it's almost like claret and blue. We've just got some foodie stuff. They've got little cakes for when his birthday is. Cute. What are these? So I thought I'd just do a quick overview of what we got. Weirdest setup ever. I'm just crouching on the stairs. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you. So um, when we came home uh, from Costco, they did have a couple of bits delivered from Amazon. So I'll start with those. This is what Darren picked out. Um, you know, it's going to be um, trial and error with a few things. As always, when you get a new dog, you don't know what they're going to like. He got this brush this is for a large dog we're getting a small to medium one so i don't know why it got large but there is that uh these are the poo bags and i'll show you everything what like put into its drawers and things there's a couple of things i want to order off amazon tonight like storage wise like something to put his toys in and something um to put in that cupboard um he also got this uh pro pooch detangling spray Again, not sure we're going to need this because he's got quite like curly hair anyway, but we will see. Uh, comb, always a must. We have one small bowl and then this bowl, which actually comes with some scoops, so that will be good if he has like biscuits and things. Um, so they are just going to be like water bowls. Um, we'll keep one downstairs and one upstairs. Um, so that's all that came from Amazon. We'll move on to HomeSense. 
So we did get this as his food bowl. We might end up getting a second one at some point. Uh, this was 9 dollars and we liked it because it's got the rubber on it, so it's not gonna slip on our floors. So from HomeSense um, as well, we got one of his pet beds. Um, this is like, it's hard to tell, but it's like a gray with almost like a dark gray purple in it and a white. Um, this is probably gonna be his upstairs bed because it's got like an orthopedic, um, like when you pick, rub your hand on it, it feels bumpy, but it's sort of like memory foam. Um, so that's going to go upstairs. And this says, I think, that it's um, every bed they use um, helps to keep bottles out of landfill. It's an eco friendly pet bed, I guess, whatever they make it from. And this was $14.99. So that's one of his beds. And then we did get him two toys. Um, like I said, we don't know what he's going to like, so we try and got a mixture of things. Um, we got this one, which is by Little Rascals, and it was $7.99. It's just got some bits that you can tug on and just like a, a chewy, rubbery bit, I guess. And then this monkey, which is from Carly Flamingo. Uh, this was $3.99. It's just like a very... Um, like It's almost like a baby toy, like... A, a puppy toy um both of our other dogs like toys like this um that they can like carry around and things so we got that to try um and then we will show you the stuff we got from pets at home which is where we spent the most stuff non surprisingly so the only two things we need to get really now are a like light proof a lightweight waterproof jacket um the ones i had they sort of had like a fleece lining and i didn't want anything too heavy for like rain like at the moment because it, when it's raining it's usually quite humid at the moment so um and also we don't really know his size that well um so that and a harness he comes already with a collar and harness anyway so he will have one um but you know we want to get him his own thing so that's the only things that we need to go back for at some point um so we got this toy which is part of the Wainwrights and um, these are puppy toys um we don't know how destructive he's gonna be but again if he's anything like our other two they like these lightweight little puppy ones these have got sort of like little plastic feet and it's crinkly and it's got a squeak in it so um we got that one i'm not quite sure how much that was um then we have this one which again is part of this is the pets at home range just for puppy and it's just another like really soft one with long bits that he can like pull on and then we got this one well i picked it out it basically looks like a baby toy doesn't it um and again part of the wainwright's puppy series it looked like a raccoon so that's why i got it um he has like a little blanky one that he can maybe have in bed with him i don't know um, as far as leash and collar, this is the collar we got, so hopefully it fits in nicely. It's sort of this black and white chevron and then this brown tan. Um, we got small, size small, um, and this was £10, so hopefully it should fit him. Hoping. And then we got the matching lead as well. It is the same. This was £14. Um, and again, what I like in this one is it's got like a cushiony bit, so when it's on your wrist it feels quite nice so uh, those were his lead and it's collar we got uh, we also did get one of these extendable ones we're not big on letting our dogs like off the lead um just we never have been uh so we much prefer like one of these um flexi leads where they still feel like they've got a lot of space to go off especially with a rescue dog you don't know especially at the start what they're going to be like so um got that and then the other pet bed we got was this one does this have a price on it no so um this is part of the just for puppy range but i mean i'm pretty sure it's going to be big enough um it's like this really soft plush uh gray and white print and it's got like a sherpa lining inside and this is like reversible as well um i am gonna put like two blankets in there probably so they're easier to clean throw them in the washing machine than these are um and just like do that when it comes to a deep clean uh, so those are those bits i then also picked up a little water bottle a little holder so if we go on particularly long walks or if it's a hot day he's got that 
a little toothbrush set and hope that he will let me brush his teeth. Um, we got some peanut butter for dogs um, because apparently we didn't want to give him real peanut butter so we gave him this. Um, picked up some snacks so these are Wainwrights, um, these are mature 7 plus years. Again don't know what he's going to like so just hoping for the best. Uh, we got one of these Kong classics, these were recommended by um, the shelter we're getting him from so we got one of those. Gotta love a squeaky tennis ball so I got some of those. Um, I got a pod thing to put poo bags in so it's easy and I can just like clip this onto his uh, leash. Um, I got the Curly Coat um, Animology Shampoo. I mean, I had no idea what to get, but I thought he's got pretty curly hair um, and it's like free of sulfates, parabens and silicone. So, and it's vegan, so got that. Um, I also got some like multi-purpose wipes because they're always handy to have. Um, Darren did get poo bags, which are somewhere. Um, and then we picked up these Kong snacks to go in his toy. I picked up this for the grass. It's like supposed to help it not go as brown. So fingers crossed. I think something's linked actually. That might be linked. Um, and then some dentist sticks. So yeah, that's all that we've got. So now I'm going to disperse this around the house and order those couple bits of Amazon. And yeah, very excited to be able to video call him tomorrow. And that will probably be the next time I update you. Uh, yeah. So we shall see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is Monday the 13th and I thought I would just update you on what's going on with Baloo. Um, unfortunately, he did have his teeth looked at today. Um, plus side, his teeth are all fine and um, they were happy about that. But they did find, I guess, some lump in his intestines and they obviously want to check that out before... Um, we take him over so um unfortunately we will not be getting him this week which i am gutted um because i thought you know even if we didn't get him wednesday we'd maybe get him friday um so here we won't be getting him at all this week is it's quite upsetting had a little tear um but you know we're gonna keep going and you know the main thing is just hoping that he's all right and it's just like a fatty lump or something and nothing serious um, so that's where we're at at the moment, um, probably we'll phone towards the end of the week and see how he is, um, they obviously want to leave it a couple of days before they put him under and do his, like, little surgery, I guess, so that is that, um, as far as, like, other things we've bought him, I thought I'd show you the couple of things from Amazon came in, so I'll just show you those very quickly and then I'll probably update you later in the week when we hear any more news so yeah let me show you so this is gonna be Baloo's downstairs bed um, I have put uh, a blanket in there that I knitted um, so that's in there for him this is his dog toy let me just turn the fan off because that's a bit loud here is his uh, dog toy basket and uh, I've filled that all up now um, a couple of these I got from Tesco today this one and this one just couldn't help myself so that is his toy basket let me show you in the kitchen now so sorry if it's a bit noisy i've got the dryer going but if i just open this up this is his uh container that came from amazon it does have like a flap over lid but i've just left it um undone so it's easy to get to and obviously his bowls aren't going to be in here all the time I've just put them in there for now so this side will be all his food stuff and then this side has sort of like grooming products um, if I can show you it's not going to be very easy but like wipes and um, stuff like that I've popped his like shampoos and stuff upstairs and yeah that is where we're at So, like I said, that is all the sort of news we've got for now. So, I will hopefully see you towards the end of the week, start of next week, with some happy news. Fingers crossed. So, did I tell you we had our Skype call with him on Saturday? 
I don't think I did. So yes, on Saturday we had our scope call with him. I will overlay some footage now. It's just like a screen record so there's no sound. But um, yes, we had our Skype call, like a 15 minute call, just if we had any questions to ask them, just to see him like walking around. Um, we saw him like go on the lead and just like you get a feel for their personality a bit more. Um, they said that when we obviously go and pick him up eventually, they give us about three to four days worth of food that we can either keep him on or change, but we'll probably keep him on the same food as long as like the vet okays it after his surgery. Um, and like there'll be like a, a vet nurse there that will go through like all his inoculations and um, like when his next flea and wormings do that sort of thing. But it was very cute to see him. Um, he looked really good on the lead. Um, he was able to sit on command, which is nice because one of our dogs, if you know, our Westie does not know how to sit. So that was cool. Um, he is, like I've said, quite an anxious dog. So um, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the videos, but he does like a little spin. Um, and obviously you wouldn't have been able to hear, but he does also like this little squeaking noise as well when he gets a bit anxious. So those are like his telltale signs so at least we know um, uh, but other than that they seem super happy with him we were super happy with him they're gonna check out when his birthday is for us um, and yeah they said that he's good traveling in the car he's good um, with other small dogs which is nice so yeah they said he's um, been like in a room with another little chihuahua so that's very cute so yeah that is all sort of the news I've got to update you on at the moment. Hopefully we'll have some positive news towards the end of this week, start of next week. And um, yeah, just keeping our fingers crossed and hoping everything goes well for him. Bless him. So yeah, I will see you hopefully with some better news soon. Hi guys, so it is Friday. Excuse me how I'm looking I just wanted to give you a quick update on Baloo so today is Friday and um, we just phone them and see how he is they have booked him in for next Tuesday to go under anesthetic again so they can look at his tummy so fingers crossed everything's okay with him apparently he's staying with um, one of the staff members at the moment she's sort of like fostering him um, and apparently she has like another dog and he gets a little bit jealous of them um, but yeah they all, the home also sent us some more videos so I'll insert those little clips hello Blue he's a good boy here he comes He's a good boy. Hello. Oh, you can have a little bit of fuss. There's a good boy. There. Where have you gone? Are you going to the door? What's this? Blue. Oh, good boy. Sit. Oh, what a good boy. Good boy. sad because I was really hoping you know that maybe whatever it was a pass and we could maybe pick him up this weekend like there was that small sliver of hope there but yeah in the meantime I am knitting away um this is the second blanket I've knitted um and I'm going to try and do as many as I can so when we do go and pick him up um we can take some blankets for them and they can give them to the doggies and the cat so that's what I'm trying to focus on at the moment because at the moment like otherwise my mind will spiral and I'll just like go into a state so trying to like keep focused and yeah so we will probably update you next week hi guys so I just wanted to update you on Baloo it is Tuesday the 21st today so Baloo did go into the vets today to um for them to have a look at his like abdomen and intestines and everything was fine all clear they couldn't see like a mass in there or anything so it was probably just some poop that he needed to get rid of or whatever reason 
Um, so yes, that's very exciting. They are keeping him in till Friday. They just want to obviously monitor him after his anaesthetic um, and, you know, make sure nothing else happens. They will um, again have a look at him on Friday and then if that's all good again, they will then let us take him home Saturday. So very exciting. Um, I thought originally it would end up being like Friday, Saturday, but it is a big relief and a big weight off my chest that he's okay, because my mind always goes to the worst place, so I'm very pleased he's okay, and um, that means I can just start making another blanket. I've made three blankets now for the um, dog shelter. It is Battersea Dogs and Cats Centre, so that is where we're getting him from. So yeah, very excited. Um, and yeah, the next time you'll see us probably be the day we go to pick him up. And I looked back at the footage that I've already taken and on two separate days I was wearing the same t-shirt. I promise it had been washed in between. But yeah, very exciting. So we will see you later this week. Good morning guys. It is Saturday and we are going to pick up the loom. We are so excited. It is half eight. We are heading to McDonald's to get breakfast, our first post-lockdown McDonald's breakfast. And then it takes about an hour to get to Windsor, so very excited. So I'll try and film sort of as much as we can, as much as like we feel comfortable filming. Obviously, we don't know how it works and it's slightly different because obviously we're still like in semi-lockdown. So, yeah. yeah, anything you want to add? No, let's go. Let's go. So we're here, we're a little bit early, um, well, like 15 minutes early, so um, they let us in, but we're just sitting and waiting for them to come out to us when they're ready. That's what they said to do for like COVID reasons, so yeah. We are here, there's the reception, and yeah, patiently waiting. So, as you can see, we've got Baloo! Here he is! I obviously, I didn't film anything whilst we were in there because it was a lot of information to take in and we were just like getting to know him. They let us walk with him for a bit and take him off the lead in the little like room and grassy area and we did all the paperwork and paid for him and now he's coming home with us. He's got one of his little toys. Yeah. And uh, they've given us some treats and he's got some food so that we can keep him on and yeah so we'll film more over the next day or two and then I'll probably do sort of like maybe like a one month update of how he's been but yeah he's been very good in the car so far. Blue! Blue! Yeah and um, he is a poodle. Not a cockapoo. 
a miniature poodle, which I don't care either way, because he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Aren't you, babe? Yeah, oh, who's that? Not wearing that stupid coat you brought me. Oh, good boy. Yeah, I think the things that you did get on will fit they were like going through some of the habits and things that he's got and we're pretty sort of used to similar things with my parents dogs so that won't be too much of an issue but obviously it's just getting him used to being with us for a couple of days he was like whining a little bit when he had to leave the lady who he's been staying with for a week or two but yeah he's been doing a couple little whimpers but he's just been sat here and you're doing good, aren't you, Blue? Do you want a biscuit? Oh, oh, oh. you are so greedy. You are such a greedy boy. Good boy. Good boy, good boy baby. That's it for now. But yeah, I think he's going to settle in just fine. Alright baby. Yeah. Good boy Baloo. Good boy. Are we home? Is this your new home Baloo? Is this your new home? Should we put you in the garden see if you need a wee? Come on then. Come on then. There you go. <laughs> Bless him. Is this your new home? Is this your new home, Blue? Yeah. Hi. Good boy. Do you need to go wee wees? Do you want to go wee wees? Yeah. Where's Derek? Is this your new home? Is he your new home, Blue? Just sussing it out. You've got some water here, Baloo. That is some water. Is this Baloo's bed? Is this Baloo's bed? Yeah, it's your new bed. It's your new bed. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good boy. And then he, Baloo, he's your toys. <gasps> Look at these toys. Are they all for Baloo? Oh. Oh. Is that for Baloo? Is that a new toy? <laughs> What's this? Oh. What have you got? Do you like a tennis ball? Oh, oh, it's quite big. You might have to get you smaller tennis balls, babe. Oh! <laughs> what have you got? Oh, you like a tennis ball? <laughs> Apparently, so funny. Oh! oh. Oh! Don't go upstairs, Blue. Come on. Come on. Should we show you upstairs? We've got a bed upstairs too. Come on. Oh, he's bringing his toy. Come on then. You want to go upstairs? You going to bring your ball? Go on then. Good boy. He knows the stairs. Yeah. Look, come here, Baloo. Is this Baloo's bed? Is this Baloo's bed? Yeah. There's your bed and your toy. Blue. Oh, where's Daddy? Blue. I don't think he can see you. Blue. Up here. Up here. Where are you going, Baloo? Come here. Yeah! Yeah, what a good boy! What a good boy! Yeah! Oh, he's sniffing away.
good boy. Billy. Billy, sit. Billy, sit. <laughs> Billy, sit. Good boy. Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Come here then. Come here then. Up. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Billy. I found the couch. Hello, mister. Yeah. I'll go give him his lunch in a minute. Yeah, can I go to see Tata? Hello, Billy. He's a mummy. He's a mummy's boy. Get to Tata. Hello. Oh. Yeah, oh, good boy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, Billy. Yeah. You're a good boy, aren't you? Oh, you're cute. Such a loving dog, aren't you? I like it. Love you still. Tag. He's cute. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You've got to love him. Not knowing you long, but... Yeah. Licky, licky. That's what Oscar does to me. Aww. What have you got? Blue, what have you got? Get your ball. Get your ball. Come on then. Yeah. What have you got? Come here then. Blue, sit. Good boy. There you go. That's a good boy. boy. Alright, calm down. Good boy. I'm too excited, aren't you? Good boy, having a drink. So I just put some warm water just to mush up his food a little bit and he's enjoying it now. He's eating it. <laughs> Got to put that water in, that was it. Good boy, Baloo. Was that tasty? Yeah, good boy, good boy. So we've ha all had our lunch and he's come and settled down. I had a little treat. He had some peanut butter on his mat, some doggy peanut butter. Got it all over his chops and nose. Blue. Oh, look at my foot. Ew. And he sat with Darren, and now he sat with me. Hello. Yeah. See, I've got two doggies now. What a handful. Woof, woof. Say woof. Yeah, he's cute. He's a very, very affectionate too. I think he's a, more of a mummy's boy because he is with a mummy's boy with the woman at the uh, foster. foster home. Uh, he's a ladies' man. He's cute. Yeah. He knows his name very well. Yeah. Just, so there's Uncle Thomas on TV. We're just watching Benidorm. And this is where we're going to be for most of the weekend. Yeah. So we'll speak. We'll check in in a bit. Goodbye. Listen to me dancing down memory lane. How are you? You look radiant. You haven't tasted the days in Thamaraki. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> what you got? What you got? Ooh. 
Oh, it's just a little tail. Hmm. You ain't for daddy. Oh, does he want his belly rubbed? Oh, belly. This is the first time he learns to rub your belly. Oh. What a good boy. Oh, belly. Oh. What a good baby. What a good boy. Is that nice? Is that nice? And he's literally been sat like this for like 10 minutes and just wanting me to rub his belly. <laughs> oh. Someone is fitting right at home. Oscar, mum's rescue dog, didn't do this for maybe at least a week. Oh. Can you hear daddy? Yeah, can you hear Daddy? Yeah. Is that Daddy? Hello! And <laughs> that tail. He's like, I love him. He's such a bear. <laughs> Is that Daddy? Yeah. Oh. Is that your bed? How's your mum today, Darren? Good, good. She's in Essex. <gasps> oh, you got your ball. Uh, I <gasps> just sat there with it. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Good boy! What's this? <laughs> what have you got? What have you got? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, be nice. So this is my ball. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got it. I've got it. Likes it with a blanket. So we just took Baloo for his first little walk just around the block. He started to like hang around the front door a bit, like basically asking to go out. So we took him out, he did his business, and yeah, he was good on the lead, wasn't really phased by anything. <laughs> Good boy. Um, one of his harnesses fit, the other didn't. The one that we got from Pets at Home didn't, so we're going to have to exchange that for a bigger size. But luckily, we had that 99p bargain from Home Bargain, so he wore that. 
So I think at some point, whether we go tomorrow or not, I don't know, to exchange his harness. Um, but yeah, he's doing good, aren't you, babe? Yeah, ew. Um, so this is basically all we're going to do for the rest of the night. I'll probably update you, you know, when it's like bedtime and see how he is then. And yeah, but he's had his dinner. And uh, he's a happy little chappy, aren't you? Yes. So we are going to continue just to basically do this. Sit on the couch. Watch TV. Watch TV and love our new little baby. Put the clothes on. I think he wants to get in his bed. Oh, He's just circling now. He already dissed the blanket. I want you to help me get everyone out of the pool. Is there a problem? The swimmers are here and they want to practice for tonight. Wow, 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 wow. Really settled. Are you sure these girls are English? Well, they're British. Well, oh. They do not have us like jelly. So it's about 8 o'clock and as you can see, we are in bed because someone was not settling downstairs and we felt that he was telling us he wanted to come to bed and as you can see I think that was the right thing to do because there he is just chilling here at his evening denture stick that he's used to and now I think that's where he will spend the rest of the night so I will say goodnight and we shall see you in the morning. Bye! Good morning, it is Sunday and we are up and dressed. It's quarter past nine, which is the earliest we've probably been up on a Sunday in weeks. Um, we had a good night. Um, I woke up a couple of times. I think I was more concerned that Blue was settled. He had a little tummy rub in the middle of the night. He got me up about half seven or half seven i woke up and took him out there he is gosball so yeah I, I put him out at about half seven he had his breakfast and then he came back to bed with us for a little bit and yeah he's been playing with his toys haven't you baby what's he got so obviously he loves a tennis ball but he's also been playing with his little lion oh where's he gone with it <laughs> taking up there this is his little line that he got from Bassy, but as you can see, it's a bit worse for wear. So we might have to see if we can get him another one of those. Let's see where it is. Blue! What are you doing, cheeky? Let's focus on him. Come on! Come on, we're gonna take you for walkies in a minute. Wanna go on walkies? Come on then. Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> Zilly boy. Yeah. We are also gonna to have to take back this collar because it's just it's just too big for him. So we'll take that back as well. Luckily we kept the receipts for those. And yeah, we're going to take him for a walk and then head to Pets at home. So let's go. Let's go, my little baby. You excited? Yeah, he's got his handsome little harness on. This is the only one that fits him at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, could you not lick me? Thanks, he loves to lick. Many people here this morning. Come on, babe. This way. This way, Blue. Good boy. It's a bit windy. I do apologize. But He's stretching him way. When he goes for his number two, it's just
at home. We've got things to exchange and a toy. And Darren's got on another ball. So yeah, he's been a good boy. Let me try things on. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need. Oh. Come on, you. He's got his new little broccoli toy. What have you got? Have you got, babe? Can we see it? Can we see it? Like that, don't you? This is the set we got him. So we got him this harness, just because you can adjust all the different four points. Um, he's an extra small in that, which is weird because in another one he was a large. So, and then we've got this as his new lead. And I will show you, I don't know if I showed you his little tag. This is from uh, Noble and Caster. Also, I won't show you the other side, but this is what his tag looks like. So I'm going to put that on there and he's going to look very chic. Yeah, we're just going to chill and we will catch up with you a bit later on. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> He's trying to lick him. <laughs> he found you. <laughs> He's like, I want to lick you. So it is late in the evening now. It's out. We're only coming out at seven o'clock. We've had our dinner. Baloo has had his dinner. He's in his bed right now. And we are just going to continue to watch some Benidorm. We had a nice nap, all three of us, on the couch today, which was nice. And then he played his toys for a bit so yeah I think he's a bit hot he seemed to be panting a little bit in the evenings but it's been quite like warm and muggy hasn't it so um but he is using his bed I will show you he has um completely uh disregarded my blanket so I've taken that out um I don't know whether because he thinks it's too hot or what but I've taken that out um, but yeah, I thought I would end this sort of like weekend vlog of bringing Baloo home and obviously you saw the footage of like leading up to um, us getting him. So yeah, like I said, I will probably do a one month update. So if there's any questions you want to know about him or anything about like getting a rescue, that sort of thing, um, leave a comment down below and I can answer that in the next video. Uh, but that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.